Hi guys, this is Arindam. You are watching Brain Development. Well, today we are going to learn division. Yes, the best method to learn division. Let's go. So let's divide four seven three one by eighty three. Now, oh, I forgot this one. So initially, we just to remove this part and. Just divide with eight. So four seven three one divided by eight, right? So eight five is forty, right? And this seven will come. This three will come definitely. We know this part very well. Now here is the trick. This three has to be used. Three into this five. Three into five is fifteen. So now. Subtract fifteen because we have not used this three. Here, the answer is fifty-eight. Right. Again, this fifty-eight has to be divided by eight. So, eight sevens are eight sevens are fifty-six. So, fifty-eight minus fifty-six is two. Now, this one will come down. So it's twenty-one now. Now twenty-one. We know the process. The three has to be used now again. This time seven. Previously it was multiplied with five. Now this three into seven is twenty-one. So twenty-one minus twenty-one is zero. Sorry. <laughs> so fifty-seven is the final answer. Hope everything is clear with you. If it's not yet clear, pause this video, stop it here, and rewind to see it again. Let's divide seven six nine double four by eighty four. Now again, we know the process, right? This four has to be take it out. So let's divide by eight only. Again, eight. <laughs> okay. So this time we know the trick. That is eight nines are seventy two, right? So four. This nine will come down here. We know after this, and the trick also you know this time you will tell me that is this four has to be multiplied with this nine, right? So four nines are thirty-six. Forty-nine minus thirty-six, thirteen, right? Now again we have to divide this thirteen by eight. So eight ones are eight, right? Simple thing. So now five. Well, again, this four will come down, so it's fifty-four now, right? But we know the process. That is, we have to use this four. Now four into one. This time one, right? Four into one is four. So fifty-four minus four, it's fifty. So again, we have to divide this fifty by eight. So eight. Six a, it six a, forty-eight, right? So two. Well, we know this four has to be come down. That is twenty-four. Now this four has to be used again, right? So four into six. This time four into six is twenty-four. That is twenty-four minus twenty-four is zero. So the final answer is nine one six. See, this is an easy process, and if you skip the video, you'll miss a lot. Well, let's get into more complicated numbers. So let's divide eight eight one zero one by one one seven. Yes, it is possible to divide a number with three digit also, but the process will be same. This seven, the third number. This time, seven will be the number, and we'll divide this number, this eight eight one zero one by eleven. Right, so eleven eights are eighty-eight. Right, simple process. We know the trick, but here is the exception. If you are still there with the video, you will get to know the exception. But otherwise, <laughs> so zero. But this one will come down. Right, we know the process. This is the normal thing. But here, as per the as per our process, the seven has to be multiplied with this eight. So seven eights are 
56. So 1 minus 56 is not possible. This number will come in negative. So that is not possible. So this is the trick. When it is not possible to subtract, that means the subtraction is giving you negative number. We have to reduce this number by 1. Yes, that is we went for 8 11s are 88. This time we'll go for 7. So 7 11s are 77. This is the trick. And if it's still not working, we'll go further down. This is the process. This is the exception. But this is not the last exception. I'll get back to you differently on this. So 77 means 88 minus 77 is 11. This one will come down again. We know the process. The 7 is so multiplied by the 7. 7 7s are 49. Right? So 111 minus 49 is 62. Right? Now again the 62 has to be divided by this 11. Right? So 5. 5 11 is 55. We know the process. So 7. Right? Now this one the zero the zero will come down now 70 but we know the process that is seven as we multiplied with this five so five sevens are 35 right so 70 minus 35 is 35 very good now this 35 has to be multiplied and uh, as we divided by this 11 so 11 threes are 33 right simple so only two now this one has to be come down this one has to be yeah, so it's 21 again okay now we know the process that is 7 into 3 7 into 3 is 21 so 21 minus 21 is 0 so the final answer is 753 this is the process my friend just practice it for a day and it will be within your grip but every time you not get to zero like this one so whenever you not get zero you will have some remainder or maybe you will have to go further to get decimal numbers so this time we'll be having one more exception and let's see it 6298 divided by 64 you may think that is a smaller number but this time we'll be having remainder or maybe decimal numbers let's see so we know the process this 4 has to be separated and then we'll start with the 6 right so we know the process 6 ones are 6 and this 6 will this will be 0 and this 2 will come down now 4 ones are 4 4 ones are 4 2 minus 4 problem negative number that is not possible right so we have to reduce but this is a one Ooh. how to reduce one? <laughs> i told you that whatever number you are having here that has to be reduced by one number and in the number circle one to nine will be having nine so if one is not working you have to go with nine yes my friend so <laughs> let's try with this so six nines are right six nines are 54 yes so eight so this nine will come down right now this four has to be multiplied by this nine so four nines are 36 right what what will the value you tell me 53 right so again we have to divide this 53 by 6 so 6 8 are 6 8 are 48 simple right so 53 minus 48 is only 5 now this 8 has to come down right we know the process again we have to multiply this 4 with this 8 so 4 8 are 32 right now 58 minus 32 is 26 right 
Now the thing is, this is the remainder. Why? Because there is no more number after this eight because eight is there already and no more number is there and this twenty six is, I mean, this is smaller than the sixty four whole number sixty four. Always remember whenever you get a number which is uh, lesser than this divisor, that is the remainder. Got it? Now, let's have some decimal values. So whenever you would like to have some decimal values, you just get a point. Now we can continue with the same process. Let's divide this six. I mean, this this twenty six by six. So. Four six a, four six a, twenty four. So only two, right? Now we can get a zero, right? As we are having the decimal over there. So it's twenty. So four into four is sixteen. So twenty minus sixteen is four. Now we need to get one more zero. But to get one more zero from this point, we have to put zero here. You know this process, right? So this forty has to be divided by this six. So now six, six, thirty-six, and we'll get four again. And you can continue with this. So in case of two-digit decimal, you can write just ninety-eight point four one. Otherwise, you can continue with this one. So that's it for today. Hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe this channel, like this video, and share this with your friends. Bye bye.